Hi everyone, uh, this is another video on vector spaces in which now starting from the generator system of a subspace we're going to obtain its Cartesian equations. Let's discover the maths. Let's consider the subspace S of R3 as shown here. It's the subspace generated by the vectors minus 1, 2, 1 and 2, 1, minus 1. So the set formed by these two vectors constitutes a generator system of S. We're going to obtain their Cartesian equations. First notice that the two vectors aren't proportional. Therefore they're linearly independent and as they're also a generator system of S, they form a basis of S. To calculate the Cartesian equations though, we won't work with this basis. Instead, we're going to use a simpler one. Let's see how to obtain it. What we'll do is obtain a system of vectors equivalent to the one given. In other words, that generates the same S, but we will do zeros on our vectors. So we'll consider the matrix in which our vectors are the row vectors. Now we'll make zeros under the diagonal. What number must be multiplied by minus 1 such that adding it to 2 gives the result 0? Clearly 2. So we multiply the first row by 2 plus the second row and then we have a new matrix. Now we copy the first row and replace the second row by the first row multiplied by 2 plus the second row. We have 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 plus 2 is 0. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 and 2 times 1 is 2 plus minus 1 is 1. So these vectors generate S just the same as the previous vectors did. And notice that they're not proportional, therefore they're linearly independent. Thus these vectors constitute a basis of S. And the good thing about this base is that it's simpler and a better way to obtain the Cartesian equations of S. Now let's do that. If XYZ is a vector of S, then XYZ will be a linear combination of the basis of S that we've just obtained. We can say XYZ equals alpha times minus 1, 2, 1 plus beta times 0, 5, 1, where alpha and beta are real numbers. From this, we obtain minus alpha, 2 alpha plus 5 beta, alpha plus beta. If we look at the first and last vectors in this uh, chain of equalities, equating component by component, we obtain x equals alpha, y equals 2 alpha plus 5 beta, and z equals alpha plus beta, where alpha and beta are in R. These are the parametric equations, but we want the Cartesian equations. Now we work from top to bottom. We clear each of the parameters and substitute in the equations below and repeat the process leaving only the equations that don't include parameters. These will be the Cartesian equations of the subspace. From the first equation, we'll move the minus to the left side and obtain minus x equals alpha. Substituting this in the second equation, we get y equals 2 alpha, which is minus x plus 5 beta. And in the third equation, z would be alpha, which is minus x 
plus beta. Now, since the first equation has already been used to substitute in the others, well, we no longer need it. In the second equation, we solve for a new parameter, in this case beta. We have y equals minus 2x plus 5 beta, so y plus 2x equals 5 beta, and therefore y plus 2x over 5 equals beta. Substituting this in the last equation, we have z equals minus x plus beta, which is y plus 2x over 5. Now we'll work with the third equation. Move minus x to the left side, and we get z plus x equals y plus 2x over 5. So 5 times z plus x equals y plus 2x. Expanding the brackets and moving what's on the right side to the left, we have 5z plus 5x minus y minus 2x equals 0. Simplifying, we're left with 3x minus y plus 5z equals 0. Notice that we no longer have any equations involving parameters. So we're done. And the Cartesian equations of S are the equations without parameters that we've obtained. In our case, that's just 3x minus y plus 5z equals 0. So we conclude that S is the xyz in R3 such that 3x minus y plus 5x equals 0. And that subspace is given by this Cartesian equation. Well, I hope you found this useful. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.